Hello everyone, it's Audrey and welcome back to our vlogs. I am so excited about today's video because we are going a little bit sneaky. We may be going undercover a little bit. We may be copying a special person and that person is my sister. So as you guys read the title, you saw the thumbnail, you clicked on the video, you know that in today's video, we are gonna be copying my sister just during 33's Instagram and seeing how long it takes her to notice that we're copying her Instagram pictures. I'm really nervous about this. I did film this video a long time ago where I copied her TikToks and saw how long it took for her to notice. And she kind of noticed pretty early on. It wasn't like the same day, but I thought it was so funny. So I thought we would do this again, but with Instagram, cause I haven't done that to her yet. Like the good older sister I am. So let's scroll through her Instagram and see what Instagram pictures are plausible to recreate. All right, we are now on my sister's Instagram page. Shout out to her, you're welcome, Jordan. <laughs> Let's take a little gander of her pictures. So she has a very like clean, white, crisp, um, kind of neutral colors. Like I feel like her Instagram theme is mostly like whites, pinks, maybe a little bit of like purples and black. Um, so yeah, this is kind of what looks like very drastic from mine. Like if you go to my Instagram page, there's a lot of colors like orange and blue and green. Yeah. Let's see if there are any good ones that we can copy. Ooh, right off the bat, I see this one. This is a very moody picture. I don't take like moody photos at all. Like most of my photos are just me smiling at like some random place outside. But this one is like a moody car pick. So maybe we'll try to recreate this. Ooh, I also like this one. She's just standing in front of me. I feel like I can recreate this one in my bathroom too. I just need to copy her outfit as closely as possible, which might be hard because I don't own these exact clothing pieces, but I'll try my best. Oh my gosh, this one. This one's iconic. <laughs> a little scratch mark from Atlas. I think I'm gonna try to recreate that with makeup. Yeah, this little booger right here scratched her face. So I'm gonna try to make like a little scratch mark. I swear, if she does not catch on that I'm copying her, like, she will never. It's so obvious. All right, I think we should also copy a more recent one. I don't wanna copy her most recent one because I feel like that's way obvious. <laughs> but this one is pretty recent. It says, my freckles are slowly making a comeback. I have no freckles on my face either. So maybe I'll try to draw some freckles on my face. If she sees this, I think she'll, she's gonna laugh because I literally don't have like any freckles. <laughs> Let's copy this one. This one's a throwback. It's from last year. So definitely a little bit older and maybe, I don't know, maybe, I don't know which one I'm gonna post first. I don't wanna be super obvious with the first one. I wanna get more and more obvious. So we'll decide after we take all the pictures, but this is very plausible for the first one. Oh gosh, <laughs> the caption though. Thank you so much for three million on TikTok. I don't have three million on TikTok, so I don't know. But this one's just a simple one in front of the bed. I don't have a bed that looks like her, but I'll just pose in front of my bed with an outfit that looks like her bed, which means I have to curl my hair for this. You're welcome. So now that we have our pictures. I'm only gonna do five because I feel like, I feel like once we get to the fifth one, if not before, she will definitely know. And I'm hoping I can catch her reaction on camera. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see her reaction. But let's get ready for the first picture and start taking them. We're in my bedroom now. I just changed the outfit that I'm gonna be copying Jordan with. This outfit, guys, not put it together, I know. But in the picture, so this is the first, ta-da, this is the first picture we're copying Jordan in her car. So, I, you don't see her pants in that photo. So I'm not changing out my comfy sweats if I don't have to. <laughs> so I left my sweats on, but I did try to match her um, top as close as possible. I put on a green shirt and I think she was wearing like a black turtleneck underneath it, like a faux collar kind of. So I put that on and that's pretty much all you see in the picture because her hair is like this. And 
then she just puts her hand up. One thing that you do see in her picture though is that she's wearing some rings. So she has like a big like oval ring on her ring finger. So I don't have that exact ring, but I do have this ring which is kind of like a diamond, but it's like pretty close. So I'm gonna put that there. And then I actually have an exact like crown ring because we got them at the same time. But this ring is so, so small and I'm supposed to put it on my ring finger or my pointer finger. And guys, I think it's gonna get stuck, but I kind of want to just do it for the video. If this ring gets stuck on me though. <sighs> wait, wait, what hand does she use though? Wait, what did she put her? No, I think she uses this hand. What the heck? Wait. Wait, what the heck? Are my fingers on my left hand smaller than my right? Um, but yeah, let's go in the car and try to take a photo. Welcome to my car, everyone. What a great flattering angle, I know. So, um, in her picture, I'm just looking at what she did. Um, it looks like she was in my dad's truck, but I think I'm gonna take this picture in my CRV car because of the lighting. Looks like she took this picture a little bit late at night because it's not the brightest. I think she was using like a studio light, which is perfect because I have one attached to my camera that I'm going to use. The only problem is the mirror. Obviously, I'm not in the same location as she is, but I think I'm gonna put a little bit more extra work in this and Photoshop her background with her tree onto my picture. It's gonna be kind of annoying because it's gonna be a lot, a little bit more work. Um, but I'm gonna Photoshop that tree and the sky, like just that whole window on my photo. So I gotta make sure I get the angles perfect. That way um, the Photoshop will go smoothly because I don't wanna stretch or make it look weird or anything like that. So that's what we're about to do. Let's try to take some selfies that look like Jordan selfies. <laughs> ah, I feel weird. <laughs> okay, guys, I think I got a good one. So I'm going to go Photoshop this. And then here are the side by side photos. I'm in the next outfit. I'm in the echoey bathroom. So this is what I'm looking like right now. I got a long sleeve like turtleneck thingy going on again with some black skinny jeans. I put my hair in a ponytail and I also am wearing this ring. Ta-da! So the photo I'm trying to copy is this one. I know that one of Jordan's favorite places to take photos are in my parents' bathroom because <laughs> it's just like really white and crisp and clean. So um, I, once again, I don't have the exact uh, clothing pieces she has, but this shirt is pretty similar. It's just a different color. And these pants are black, but they don't have rips in them. And I think I did pretty good with the ring. So we did a pretty close job. I'm gonna try to take some photos that look like her. similar so it's similar to hers not exact but pretty close so here are the final results of the before and the after photo number three changed outfits once again so this is what I'm going to be trying to recreate right here and this is the scrunchy, scrunchy one. So I picked out a black shirt. I don't have a Nike black shirt, but I do have something with like a white logo. So I thought this might be close enough. And then I don't have her, oh, she also has little hoops in her ears. Dang it, I'm gonna have to try to find that. But I did find like a little small necklace. And now is, is time to do the bubble braids. I don't even know, like how do you do bubble braids? We're gonna be trying it. I think you just like, put a lot of hair ties in. Whoa, okay, so I just did one side. This, this like, whoa, it's so bubbly, like when I run my hands through it, it feels crazy. Um, so I'm gonna do the other side real quick and then we're gonna add in the scar. Hello everyone. <laughs> I'm looking in the viewfinder to see what I look like right now <laughs> with Jordy next to me. <laughs> uh, I think I look 
pretty similar though. I added in like the scar. It's not super noticeable, but I didn't want it to be like, you totally made that out of makeup. Like it looks like someone just scratched my face right now or I, like I was like itching myself. So it's actually the same eyeshadow I use, the same color, fun fact. Um, and my acne helps it, so <laughs> even great, <laughs> even better. <laughs> so I did my hair, put in my earrings, did my makeup. I think it's time to take the photo. So she took this photo with like white bedding. I don't want to rip off the top cover of our bed though because I don't want to remake the bed. I hate already making the bed. So I'm just going to try to get this little sheet right here and see if I can do that. Otherwise I might have to ruin the bed. Um, but yeah, let's take some selfies. Back in the bathroom we go. These next two photos are going to require for my hair to be curly. So just plugged in my curling iron, got my hair supplies. You know the drill. It's time to curl my hair. Um, usually uh, like on normal days, I don't curl my hair because it takes me like an hour. It takes me such a long time to curl my hair. Uh, and I'm not even a pro at it. So... I'm hoping these will turn out good, but I really want to do these photos just because they're a little bit different um, hair-wise. I'll switch things up. Uh, but I did notice, this is the next photo that I'm going to be trying to copy. It's the one where Doran's sitting in front of her bed. And I just noticed that she's not wearing a middle part. She always has a middle part. So I guess this was like the, tr like, this was taken before the trend of middle parts or something last year. Let's start curling our hair her hair doesn't look like it's in super tight curls so i don't want to like make it like shirley temple like they're kind of like wavy like loose slash wavy beach curls so that's the look we're going for today using my wave wand and i'm not in the outfit yet she looks like she's wearing a long sleeve black shirt with um two necklaces oh we gotta curl, ladies and gents. So, I'll see you in an hour, I guess. Okay, guys, I have to be a little quiet because Spencer's filming a video right now at the same time as me, and our house has really thin walls. But I just curled my hair, and I parted it the way that I think Jordan did, and I feel like a Karen. Like, is it just me, or do I look like a Karen? <laughs> I, I, I can't do my hair with the, like a side part anymore. Like, why does this look so weird on me? Ew! So, Dren took hers by the bed, so I'm probably gonna take mine like over here, something like that, and pose. I may have to switch the part because like, I've been noticing that um, the phone camera like flips your face and stuff when you take a photo. Also, I have a sunburn right here, so. <laughs> little run um but yeah i might have to part my hair the other way but i hate this right now like this is just not a look i'm gonna take some photos but here is the before and the after all right we are moving on to the final photo we have our middle part back again thank goodness i cannot handle the side part anymore i think it's just my hair has naturally adjusted to sitting like this so like moving it does it does not look that's not the move so for this last picture um joran talks about her freckles in the photo so i'm gonna have to make sure that i have freckles on my face but she also has a lot of highlighter and in the inner current corner and the inner corner of her eye so i am going to put some highlighter there i'm gonna add some more to this i want to make it very shiny because hers was popping oh yeah yep that's that's good okay now that we've got that time to take a brown and we are going to add little dots with this tiny brush on my face i'm a little nervous because i have my mirror right next to me by the way um, cause I've never put on fake freckles and I feel like, oh, so far, not bad. I don't know how much you can tell. You can see little dots. It just looks like my pimples. Wow. All right. Now I'm just going to like kind of blend these in cause I don't want them to be so like polka dotty, you know, but I think they look pretty cute. I don't know. I think I did a good job for just 
throwing them on. This is the photo I'm trying to recreate. She's just sitting in front of our front door. Um, so I'm just gonna sit in front of the bathroom door because it's also white. I don't have any part of the door in the house that has like the gold metal. So can't recreate that part, but I can get most of the frame correct. So I feel like that's all that matters, you know? Welcome back to the bathroom, part 100. Um, here we go. I'm on the floor. I thought the camera was gonna fall over a second. That was so spooky. She's like kind of doing a little smirky smirky and tilting her head a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. My hair is like kind of frizzy. But anyways, I think we got a good photo. So here are the befores and the afters. Okay, I just edited all of the photos and I think they look pretty good. I try to get them as close to the original as possible. Obviously, you guys have already seen what they look like, but I just revamped them, so I did it. And I just posted my first photo and I'm so nervous. So usually I post my photos like in the middle of the day around lunchtime, so it's a little weird that I'm posting it at 6 p.m. Um, I'm realizing this video is taking me two hours. Anyways, I post this photo at 6 p.m. It's the one of me in front of the mirror and I want to see what you guys comment to see if you guys have caught on already that I'm copying. So let's see what people said. <laughs> someone said, oh, someone literally got it. So this is TYFS cutie. Wait, hold up. Are you recreating Jordan's Insta post? I'm so good. You are so good. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can read that, but <laughs> literally some of the first are you guys catching on. Okay, well, if Jordan looks at any of the comments, she's gonna know. Because you guys already figured it out. You're so good. Wow. You guys are little detectives. All right, well, I'll update you either when Dren um, notices or for tomorrow when we post a new photo. Um, Audrey, I'm sitting here eating ice cream. <laughs> I just decided to go on Instagram to check out what's going on. What's cool these days? <laughs> That's true. Okay, well, I'll keep going, but that is so funny you already caught on the first day. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. All right, guys. It has been like five days later. I do not look the best because I didn't get ready today. <laughs> I've just been like working on behind the scenes stuff, but I have officially posted all five of my photos of copying Dren for the week and <laughs> all of you guys basically knew by the end of the week what I was doing. Now I got Jordy on the phone and we're gonna see what she rates all of my pictures for the week. Hello sister! Hello! <laughs> oh my goodness, I am so excited. So what did you think of all the photos this week of me copying you? It was so crazy. It is so strange because I'm like, I don't know, our styles are just so different, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> so I'm really excited to go through and rate each one. I'm nervous. I feel like I don't know how I did. So I'm curious to see what you think. I'm excited. Okay, so should we start with number one? Yeah, the, the one I posted on the first day. I would rate that one a 10 out of 10 because I think you did really good. A 10 out of 10? Yeah. Wow, we're starting that off one, good. That one was 
was like scary accurate, and I think that's why I was able to pick up on it so fast. Where I was like, mm, this is literally me. Maybe so. I should have posted a different one the first day to not give it away. I didn't think it was gonna be like such a big giveaway, but maybe. On to the second one. That one I also really liked. Like you literally, the background and everything is like the same. Wait, did you take it on the mattress though? I took it on my comforter, like on my bed. Okay, that's what I did with mine too. I couldn't really tell. Yeah, so it looks very similar. The only part that I would say though is with mine, I had a scratch on my face because Atlas like gave me a scratch. And I can't tell if you tried to edit in a scratch or not, but I don't know. I didn't think the scratch worked that well. I tried to do it with makeup, but I didn't want it to look really obvious, so yeah. I already that one an 8 out of 10. That's pretty good still for a rating. Okay. Yeah. On to the next one. This one had me so shook. Yes. That was my goal. I was like, literally as soon as I was like, what? Because <laughs> I like had no idea. You, The background is the exact same as mine. I photoshopped it. It took me so long. It took me probably like half an hour to like edit that photo. That was really good. 10 out of 10 on that one. Cause 10 out of 10! Yeah, Photoshop skills in that really pulled through. Oh, yeah. Okay, on to the next one. This one says my freckles are slowly making a comeback. <laughs> um, okay, this one, I gotta say, I would rate a little bit lower. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have freckles, but I drew them on my face. <laughs> yeah, I still think that you did a pretty good job, but yeah, I could tell that the freckles, I don't know. I, I don't know if you drew them on or if you like edited them on, but. I drew them on. Which, I mean, you can't really control that because, yeah, I, I mean, if you don't have naturally have freckles, then I don't know what else you would do besides draw them on. Um, but I'd probably rate it. I think I'd rate that one a 6 out of 10 just because the editing is pretty different. That's uh, still good though for a rating. Yeah. That's the very last Today's one. Today's post. Yeah, this one you curled your hair and everything. Um, literally so good. The only real difference would be like the background with your bed versus my bed. Yeah. Um, and probably like the editing, I would make it brighter, but I think other than that, you did what I did. I mean, you curled your hair like the way that I would curl my hair, so... <laughs> Yay! So what'd you rate that one? I would rate that one an 8 out of 10. Wow, I did pretty good then. Okay guys, so that's going to be it for today's video where I copied my sister's Instagram for 24 hours. Comment down below who else's Instagram you want to see me copy for 24 hours and who that person is. And maybe I'll do this again. I gotta say though, my Instagram theme in the last five days has really changed. So <laughs> whoever I copy next, it's probably also gonna throw off my Instagram because like no one in my family has like super duper outdoorsy Instagram theme. <laughs> it's just kind of all random. So let me know who you want me to copy. Um, and then if you see my Instagram change all of a sudden with different captions, you know why. Um, and yeah, follow me on Instagram for more and if you want to participate in future videos at All Around Audrey. And you guys know what time it is? Random jump 16. Oh, oh, oh.